Well, hello guys, welcome back to a new vlog. This is vlog 181. I actually remember what number it is. Cheers, I got me some Starbies today. Because I happened to be in town. Because I wanted Panda Express for my lunch and dinner. I can, I can chew actual meat right now. Well, on the one side, so I was like... I need food. I get real food. So I got my teriyaki chicken and rice. I get the most boring thing on the menu at Panda Express. I get teriyaki chicken and white rice, but I freaking love it. I don't know why. That's like my comfort food. If I'm not feeling good, that's what I want to eat. And even though I don't feel particularly bad or anything, I just felt like I needed it today. So yeah, anyway, welcome to a new vlog. We are still hanging out with the temporary teeth. <laughs> and awaiting our permanents. Things are actually fully painless today, which I'm really excited about. Zero, zero mouth pain. Yay! Which was not the case previously. And uh, yeah, I filmed a reel today. I filmed product updates. And uh, me and Punk are just hanging out the rest of the evening, gonna do some editing and try to get to bed at a decent time because I do have a workout in the morning. So I need to uh, be rested for that. And then I also have to run to the grocery store because I'm out of milk and cold brew to go in my smoothies. So I got something kind of, kind of fun in PR today. This is from La Mer. <laughs> Look at this little bag. How cute is this? They sent a couple of samples for me to try out and review. Uh, so yeah, look at this pretty little bag. It's silk, it's so nice. They sent over two little minis. At least they send you two of them. <laughs> because I mean, my goodness, it's so bitty. It's so bitty. Look at that little baby. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I love getting these little tiny La Mer samples, girl. I, I pulled out my La Mer samples that I had that I forgot I had and have been reusing them again. <laughs> And try to actually finish them up instead of just hoarding them. <sighs> because I enjoy them. It's good skincare. It really is, girl. It, it's real good, but I cannot justify that price point. I cannot. Cannot good consciousness recommend it to you because of how expensive it is. But if it's in your budget, by all means. But you can you can get samples and try it out. There's always some way to get a sample. Like I think on their website they offer samples and trial kits and stuff, even though they are kind of expensive. But this is the the Moisturizer Fresh Cream. I have not tried a moisturizer from them, so I'm kind of excited about that. I have the oil uh, renewing serum and lotion that I've been incorporating again into my skincare at night. Oh, it, it's so good, it's so good, I hate it. Let's open this up and see what she looks like. That's actually a fairly decent amount of product in there, as small as the container is. Mmm! It smells good. It smells very fresh. It smells like nice moisturizer. I just want to see how the texture is. Ooh! That's silky. That is a silky cream. Yeah, we're going to be trying that out tonight and adding that into the skincare. Oh my gosh, that does. That feels like silk. Ooh, and it just disappears and feels like baby soft. Wow. That feels nice. That does feel like a very elevated formula. I don't know any of the claims of this, but I'll put them on the screen. One day, one day, I will be a La Mer exclusively skincare junkie. That's one of those things, you know, those memes about when you win the lottery. I won't tell anybody, but there'll be signs. My signs will be a fridge full of La Mer, like Jean Smart on Hacks. The La Mer! <laughs> That, that will be me. That That's my goals. Can I just be that when I grow up? I'm going to grow up and be Joan Rivers. That's what's going to happen to me. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to try that out. It, that does feel pretty nice on the skin, isn't it? What is on my agenda for this week? Other than leg day. And then upper body day. And then leg day. And upper body day. And all that. Not a whole lot. Just, uh. I think I, I kind of want to do some a lot of at-home stuff. I need to tidy around the house a lot. I need to do some spring cleaning. So I might do that in this vlog. I need to put away things and just do some general organizing and cleaning in the kitchen living room area. 
I am gonna make a trip to Ulta, but I don't know if that's in this vlog or next vlog. It depends when I get there, because it depends on my husband's schedule, because he's driving me. He's my chauffeur, I do not drive. Ugh, gross driving. No, really, I don't like driving. I, I have terrible anxiety when it comes to driving, and I refuse to do it, so. And I don't have to, so why not? I, on my shopping list for Ulta, though, is a Curl Smith hair dryer. My hair dryer has started making a very unpleasant sound at me. Yes, my $20 Kiss hair dryer has started to go bzzz at me when I turn it on high. <laughs> it makes a scary noise, and I don't know if it's electrical or if something's just caught in the fan. Either way, I, mm, I don't like that sound it's making. And my husband heard it from the other room, and he was like, oh, I don't like that either. So he's like, let's get you a new hair dryer. And so I showed him the Curl Smith one that I've been lusting over for a little while. I mean, it's not like it's a Dyson, but it's still nearly $200. I want that giant diffuser bowl. Oh, I want it so bad. So, yeah. He's like, look at that. So that, that's on my shopping list for Ulta is just a hair dryer. And they said they have them in stock in my local Ulta. And I actually just want to go in Ulta because I've been there like three years. I don't remember last time I walked into Ulta. <laughs> You would think I would go there like all the time, but I don't. I look at the website, but I just, I, I don't enjoy going in there. My local one. I just don't. So yeah, it's probably been about three years since I've been in Ulta. Mostly, I don't like going there because they never have what I'm after or looking for. And it's a whole trip to town that I could have just gone to Walgreens for. So that's usually why I just don't bother. They they don't really have anything that I can't get anywhere else. So I'm probably going to also try to get that ColourPop 1111 palette if they have that. That's the only other thing that's like on my shopping list for Ulta. I think that, that's about all that's on the agenda, honestly. I feel like there's something else that we were doing. Uh, one point was to go visit my in-laws coming up but I don't remember I think it was around the 15th we were gonna do that so yeah anyway I did have a lovely conversation with my cousin today and I'm very proud of him I just threw that in there I'm very proud of that little man my little man my little alley cat he's the boy's like 21 years old and I still think of him as my little alley cat his name's Alex and I just called him alley cat and he was just a Swedish little cuddle butt when he was little, oh my god, he was one of those babies and, like, kids that you just, oh. He was very sweet and very affectionate. He's still a very sweet, affectionate boy. And he just adopted a doggie, and I'm, I'm very happy for him. He's, like, doing good. And, you know, out on his own and stuff. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, anyways, we had a nice little phone chat today. I had talked to him in a little while, so that was nice. And, yeah, that's about it that's going on around here. Uh, I will definitely be putting these little mare products to the test. I know, I think in my last vlog I showed, like, my skincare routine, and I had just pulled out the La Mer samples in that one, because I knew these were coming. I, this, they came a little later than I was anticipating them. They've probably been sitting in the mailbox, to be honest with you, for a couple of days, and I just haven't gotten down there to check it, because sometimes I forget that mailboxes exist, and I need to go check that. Uh, anyway, oh, I do tell you this quick thing real quick. I was outside with Pumpkin, and I heard this, the funniest scampering, like, pitter-patter coming up the driveway. Like, just a full scamping sound, just a little spats, spats, little spats, 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 spats. It sounded kind of like, you know, those videos of ducks running on hardwoods? It was kind of like that. I was like, what is that? It was my my armadillo friend. His name is Arnold. It is probably not the same armadillo every time, but yeah, don't ruin my illusion if that's Arnold and he lives here. It was him making all kind of commotion running up the driveway. It was the funniest sounding thing I've ever heard. It was just this little <laughs> it's just he's just booking it. And then he goes all around the fence line just doing his little digging that he does. He's so cute. He is so cute. I love armadillos. Armadillos and possums. I love them. Love them to death. Sloths. Love those. Bats. 
and pandas and red pandas and elephants. Yeah, just I just like anything cute and sweet. So I think armadillos and possums are very sweet and cute. You know, I don't ever see like raccoons around here or squirrels or any of those other creatures. Woodland creatures, bunnies. We have tons of bunnies. Bunnies and armadillos. That's that's what we got around here. Occasionally you'll see a possum and I get very excited when I see one. I'm like, hey, little buddy. <laughs> but I did get visited by the neighborhood cat Garfield. That big boy came visited me night before last. And then this evening, my other cat friend came over and visited and just said hi. The big old tabby. Now he cut Garfield, he'll hang out and just like roll around and play and cuddle and be so silly. But Tabby, he comes through, he sees me out, he comes over, he'll give me some leg rubs and some, I'll like, you know, scratch him a little bit, we talk, and he'll roll around for a second, and he's on his merry way. He's He's got places to be and things to do. Garfield, nah. And, yeah, I, I love my little outside friends. <laughs> and they all, all the neighborhood cats know me, they come visit, and I might give them treats, and that might be why they visit me more. Because I do buy cat treats for them. And if I don't have cat treats, I give them a piece of lunch meat. <laughs> I will give them ham. <laughs> I love feeding the neighborhood animals. Anyway, I mean, these cats clearly have homes and are well fed. <laughs> they ain't missing any meals. But I like to spoil them. And give them a couple little scritch scratches and some love. They're sweet, sweet kitties. The tabby, he's... He was shy at first and like he didn't know about me. He's like, mm, I don't know. And now he's like, sees me out here. He comes a running and he's just he's so sweet and just a big old boy too. That's, he's like muscular. Like he could beat up any other neighborhood cat. Garfield's just fat. <laughs> That's just a fat cat. That's why I call him Garfield and he's kind of orangey. But he's more that beige sandy color. The tabby though, that, that cat lifts. The cat looks like he lifts weights. Like, are you coming over here using my gym equipment when I'm not home? My outdoor weights. That's enough rambling. I will see you guys in a little while. I I, I had Star Starbucks. I had cold brew. That's why I'm a chatty Kathy. So, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye now. All right. Hello. We are back from the gym. I did a super duper glute, ham, and quad workout. Oh my goodness. It was pretty much what I shared in my full leg day in the last video, but I... Tweak things a little bit. I threw in some um, hip adductors. I think that's what it was called. I never can remember which is which. The more you go out to work the side glutes. I, I threw some of that in. I did squats, RDLs, hamstring curls, uh, all the things. I did single leg, leg press, <laughs> and. And then I had the bright idea that, oh, I'll just run to the grocery store after I do a big leg day. After I've increased my sets and went up to my working weights and all the stuff that should be in my program. Genius idea on my part because <sighs> that was a rough grocery shop because it was big groceries. It wasn't like little groceries, like right now I pick up a couple things. It was like getting meals to cook because I'm getting some meal prep stuff. <sighs> That was a rough shopping trip. It was rough, but we're home. And I'm about to have a nice Epsom salt bath. I think my hair is good for another day. I didn't get that sweaty. So I'm gonna not wash my hair, <laughs> but wash everything else and have a nice Epsom salt bath and a bubble bath soak situation. And I wanna show you a couple of things that I picked up while I was at the Walmart. Some bath body hair things that I did by a couple of beauty things that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Uh, let me get the uh, body wash because my husband used it. So <laughs> we, we ended up both wanting it and he, he was like, can I use this one? I was like, yes, of course. So we didn't share body wash most of the time anyway. It's, it's what we do, but, uh, so, and we pretty much like the same fragrances, so it works. Well, let me show you which <laughs> two I got. Okay, so first one I picked up is Night Panther, and I got the big boy because he we he does through body wash. I swear he goes through it twice as fast as I do, and I think I take more baths than he does. I don't know how we, he he goes through so much body wash. But anyways, I got this one. 
because when I smelled it, it reminded me of patchouli or like a really nice cologne. Like, oh, it has just a very, very nice fragrance. They've definitely improved these fragrances. I have this one having notes. It does not. It drives me crazy when they don't have notes on them, but they don't. Got a big boy of that. Mm. And I found this one. This is like some new. I haven't seen this before. But I got the Gentleman's Super Hydration Moisturizing Body Wash with B3. Uh, this one is in the Vanilla and Shea Butter fragrance. Oh, I'm getting water everywhere. But this smells like heaven. <laughs> like, it definitely doesn't smell like cologne or anything like that. It smells like vanilla and shea butter, and it smells awesome. So I'm going to use this because I think it's going to complement my Dr. Teal's Shea Butter and Almond Oil bath products that I like, which is what I picked up this time. But they had these over in the clearance pile. So I got two packs because silk scrunchies or little satin little scrunchies and they were on clearance <laughs> yes please and they're very very nice feeling so i got two packs of these you get like a nude one which i i liked and a black one perfect perfect for me so i put those away in my drawer where i keep my hair ties for nighttime and uh, so yeah two packs couldn't beat that and then uh, I'm always losing these and needing them, so I, I just grabbed another pack of these. These are the John Frieda ones, but I like the colors. I like this red shade and this color. They looked pretty, so I got a pack, another pack of those. So I, I'm telling you, I buy hair ties and they just evaporate and I never can find them when I need them. So maybe if I buy more, that won't happen as much. I don't know. These on clearance. I hope they're not discontinuing this. This is the Le Gloss color stuff from L'Oreal. This stuff's awesome. It is such a good toner and mask. So I grabbed Platinum Pearl, which I know I like, and I grabbed Silver White because it tones so well. Like if you got brassiness, these will do the job and they're very nourishing. So yeah, uh, I grabbed two because I hope they're not getting rid of them. These are amazing. Absolutely amazing product. And they have a pretty extensive shade range if you need toners. Of course, Dr. Teal's. We got Shea Butter and Almond Oil. So I got this and the foaming bath, which I'm about to hop in the tub, do this, and then I'm gonna do my nails because I will, I also don't really need doing it. I'm just gonna like tie them up and I'm gonna put a deeper color over top. I bought uh, some more nail polish that I would show you, but one of the shades is this color and I really like it. And I bought matching lipstick. <laughs> it's an idea for a reel that I want to do, but um, I'll show you that in a little while. I'm going to take my bath now. Settle in for the evening or night. Night. It's midnight. Yeah, I uh, we went to the gym like at 7 and then I don't know how long we stayed there. And then I finished the groceries. It was 10, 10 when I got home. So yeah, it was, it was a lot of grocery shopping, but I bought stuff to make chicken Alfredo. I bought stuff to make nachos because I just want some nachos. I don't know. And if I make my own, they're, mm, I can control the macros. And I got stuff to do carne asada tacos, street tacos. What else did I get? Oh, I got two things of Magic Spoon, the the Fruit Loop knockoff, or the Fruit Loop flavored one, the fruity one. I'm obsessed. So I had that as my post-workout meal and a protein shake. Three different types of breakfast items. <laughs> uh, they're frozen, like the Jimmy Dean things. I got the the one that's like an Egg McMuffin, <laughs> the Egg McMuffin one, uh, the English muffin version, and it has really good macros, a lot of protein. So I got that. I got the croissant version, which also has pretty decent macros and a lot of protein. Got the egg bites, two different types of egg bites, because I love the one that has the spinach in it. And I got the another one that was like just like bacon and sausage. 
Both of those have a ton of protein in them and again, decent, good macros. Like about, I think the most in any of those is about 240 calories. So that's really easy to stay in my deficit with. And what else did I buy? Ripped on protein powder, of course. Got pumpkin, some treaties, and a toy. And Oh, and I got the cream that the doctor recommended for my foot for the pain. The Aleve cream. It has a little massage-y thing on it. Feels really good. I, I did put it in my foot. It definitely helps with some of the aching. Like, it actually feels a lot better. And it's just menthol and, like, camphor or something. But, yeah. Good. My foot was a little achy today. And it worked. So, that's awesome. <laughs> I am now going to get in that hot bath and let my muscles relax a little bit because my butt is screaming. My butt muscles are like, what did you do to us? What did you do? <laughs> it was a really good workout though. Like I just, I didn't even use my lifting straps for my RDLs. I was like, I, I think I could do these without lifting straps. My goodness, come on. And yeah, I didn't have any problems with that. So cool, my grip strength is improving. <laughs> I think the only thing I didn't do was like single leg RDLs because I don't always do those. Those are something I do at home if I can't go to the gym because I can just use a dumbbell for that instead of a barbell. Yeah, I, I kind of, I've been watching some fitness content as I always do and exercise science. <laughs> I like science-based training. That's, that's my, my thing. And I was trying out a few little just variations of workouts I already do that I showed in the vlog a couple, I think it was a couple of vlogs ago. Just some different little playing with foot placement, range of motion, stuff like that, that can target glute area a little more over quad focused stuff. And I did the thing where you warm up on the leg curl machine. That definitely made a difference where I could feel the RDLs in my butt more than just the back of my legs. So that was cool. Let's, I'm going to run my bath. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to check out this new show on Max, but I can't remember what it's called. It's got Kate Winslet, and it's like about a monarchy. Something like that. And I want to see what that's up with, what that's all about. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so next day, I just got to filming this look right here. I've also done a short on a look similar to this, but not quite the same, but I wanted to do something kind of pretty in for spring. So yeah, let me get my, my hair out of the way. I'm having a good hair day, because they were like four days in on this hair. Uh, look at this. I started at ringlets, and now I've got like this gorgeous like blowout look. I love when that happens. Every now and then, just the hair gods smile at me and I get just good hair for days. <laughs> anyway, let me get it out of my face for a minute so I can talk to you. I was gonna show you the rest of the stuff I got at Walmart. That's what I was doing. I knew there was something I need to turn the camera on for. And by the way, I tried a new technique out at the gym. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the previous clip, but it's called pre-exhausting a particular muscle pre-exhausting the hamstrings, for instance, in this one, which is a old school like bodybuilder method to do. Uh, I can't think of the bodybuilder who like made it popular, but it's like back in the eighties. I'll put him on screen if I think of it. <laughs> but anyways, it's where you do your hamstrings first and use that as kind of your warm up. Definitely feeling the glutes today. Oh boy. Yeah, that works. That, that I'm going to keep that method in my repertoire for leg day because mm, I feel like it did something good. Just feel it. Anyway, having some coffee, it is like probably two in the morning, I think. I don't know. I slept. I got up early today. I got up like at nine, ten maybe. I don't know. And was like, yep, nope, too early, too early, going back to bed because I didn't probably fall asleep until like three in the morning for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I slept until about three in the afternoon. <laughs> And uh, just did laundry and had lunch and dinner, procrastinated, 
did my nails and, you know, did some editing, how the day goes. So I'm having a second cup of coffee. I took the pupper for a car ride. We went and got some chicky nuggets and went to Cece's and got her a pup cup. So she had a good day. And once we got, ch got her chicky nuggies, she had a few bites of my chicken nuggets that like little tiny bites I shared with her. It's a treat we do every couple weeks. Let her go have some chicken nuggets and maybe take her CC's. It, she loves it. She's got where she actually goes to the window at more than just CC's now and like greets the, the cashier and it's the cutest thing. And it's, my friend works at Wendy's. So hi Sharonda. She, so I know she's like, okay, it's not some stranger's dog coming up here trying to talk to me. She, she's seen Pumpkin. And uh, so I ask Pumpkin, like when we pull up to a window, I'm like, you wanna go say hi? And she, I can tell by the voice who it is at particular places for also, because I might frequent the same places like pretty often to where I know the employees and can recognize their voices through the drive throughs I like my chicken nuggets and I like my McMuffins. What can I say? And they fit my macros. If it's <laughs> the voices that I recognize that I know like dogs and have wanted to talk to Pumpkin previously, I'll ask her when we get up to the window, like, you wanna go say hi? And she's like, yes, I do. I really wanna go say hi. And she runs up to the window and stands there and just like, <laughs> Green, the neck's all cute, and gets scratches, and they talk to her, and she is the worst at the bank, because sometimes they put treats through the window at the bank, and she knows treats are going to be in that little drawer. That's such a ham at the bank. Oh my goodness. And she does it at, when we go pay the water bills. Sometimes we go pay in person, and um, it's a little drive through window. Do you guys still pay your water bills like that? I still do. I pay it online sometimes, but I, I kind of like going to the place and doing it because I've done it since I was a kid. It's just one of those things. <laughs> and anyway, Pumpkin likes to greet them as well, but they don't always have treats. So she's very disappointed when no treats are involved when we go there. Anyway, she had a fun day. She had a nice day out and I did get her some new nudgies last night at the grocery store. I got her chicken pot pie ones which are the cutest things they look like little chicken pot pies and it's just minced chicken and some veggies they actually smell kind of like chicken pot pies like they don't smell bad i'm like it smells like that would taste actually pretty good <laughs> and yeah she loves those she loves the nudgies like the soft treats i get her the i think they're called grillers the ones that are real soft they're like egg uh, mcrib texture it's, she's got her greenies and then she gets one of those in the morning, but I like to give her something I can like break in half and give her later in the day just to space it out, you know, give her something else because it's just boring only having a greenie a day. And yeah, she's curled up right now in her little bed pouting because I shut the office door so my husband can play video games and listen to podcasts and whatever and I can sit here and film and chit chat and, you know, you don't know, pick up sounds from other rooms. And she come in here after I shut that door, plopped down her little bed and went, hmm. And she's just been sitting there pouting since. And she also got a new lammy at the, from Walmart as well. The little lamb chops. Loves those. So she played with that for a few hours today too. I was going to show you what else I got at Walmart. That's, that's why we're in here. The caffeine has kicked in. So I did get some more nail polish. I got this shade that is currently on the nails right here. You can see that. It's just a really, really dark burgundy. And I also picked up this shade. These are from LA Colors. This is the Color Last nail polish that claims to last up to 10 days. And anyway, oh, I got a, I got a point about that in a second. This is another little shade I got that's like this pretty springy pink, pinky peach color. I thought it looked, I should have worn it today, but I have plans with this nail polish and one of the lipsticks I picked up. I should have paired this up for today and just redid my nails, but I don't like redoing my nails frequently. And I found the trick to these LA Colors nail polishes, because they say they last up to 10 days. And I was like, girl, no, they do not. They last maybe two days. No, here's what you do. Use this as the base coat and the top coat, then it lasts forever. <laughs> and it's so cool. 
And you know what's also, you can like touch up your nails with these. Like, you know, sometimes you get like a chip or something and then you try to touch it up with nail polish and it just makes a mess or it like gets too thick and won't dry. So you kind of need to freshen up your coat a little bit. You can layer these up so many times and it doesn't get weird. Like especially the top coat. Sometimes I'll go in with the, another layer of top coat a few days later because things will start to look dull or got a mess like smudged or something or I don't know. Sometimes you just like to make them look a little shiny again. I can layer another layer of top coat on later and it doesn't get all gummy and weird and take forever to dry. It, it works really well. This is a really good top coat, okay? So I'm I'm fully on board with this stuff from LA Colors and it's like $1.50, $1.99, $1.48, whatever it is at Walmart. $2. Less than $2 for these. And yeah, using this as the base coat and top coat is, is the way to go. It actually does last, I don't know, about 10 days, but at least a good week on me without chipping or anything. I've been able to actually grow my nails out to a decent length. Like, look at that. Because it's like protecting them, keeping them from breaking. Like, look how long they are. My nails never, I can never give them that long because they always break. I'm so proud of them. And I'm probably going to end up breaking them soon, but I'm trying my best not to. Because, yeah, a couple of hair things I picked up. Got another of my Pantene Flexible Hold Alcohol Free Hairsprays. Love this stuff. So, re on that because I've actually used up all my hairspray except for one that I just don't love. That I'm just hanging on, like, using in a pinch kind of hairspray. It's finally time to buy some more hairspray. So I got that and I got my beloved texture spray from Heritage. They had one on the shelf, didn't have a cap, nothing. Mixed in with the dry shampoos, so I grabbed it. I don't know if these are getting discontinued or what. I don't think, maybe they just don't read the labels there at Walmart because they look exactly like the dry shampoo. So they all just kind of get stocked intermingled together on the shelf. I would make the same mistake. So if you, I dig through the dry shampoo and I'll find these within it when I think they're out of these, but they only had one. So I'm wondering if these are getting discontinued. I hope not because I'm going to have to find another texture spray. It's not an arm and a leg because I use it too much to spend extra money on that. And then I, I get the, I got the three super lustrous lipsticks. So let me show you the swatches of those. I do have one I'm on right now that is called Rose Velvet. It is 130 rose velvet. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. It was like it's like that perfect your lips with a better color. To me, it fits the description of what they describe 90s pink from Charlotte Tilbury to be. But this doesn't have as much that purple lilac in it. Like this is more just a 90s pink. Let me I got a little bit of gloss on mine, just trying to take that off so you can see what this looks like. I have a little bit of a kind of a peachy looking gloss. So you get a better look at it. Like it has that muted coolness in there, but there's also a browniness in it. Mm, I love it. Let me swatch it on my hand. Or right, give me a little good old arm swatchy swatch. So you can see what I'm talking about. How pretty is that color? I'm gonna swatch it next to 90s pink from Charlotte because I think they are quite similar. I just think the Charlotte one has a bit more of a purple lilac in it. But the descriptions of this is how I would describe the uh, Revlon one, which I think this is described as like a rosewood or something. Something like that. Yeah, see this just has a little bit more of a pinky purple mauve in it. But I like, I mean I like both shades, but I really really impartial to that more, more brownie tone in a pinky lipstick. I think it looks so pretty and just flattering on multiple skin tones. All right, and then I also got the shade called Rum Raisin. This is 538 Rum Raisin. These All these are creams that I picked up, uh, the creme formula. And I love rum berry so much. I was like, what about rum raisin? Well, I love it just as much. Is it different? So I got it too. And it is different. It's, it's very pretty. <laughs> very pretty. They're a lot prettier than what looks on the sticker too. So here's a look at 
rum raisin. Actually, rum raisin might be closer to the Charlotte Tilbury, in fact. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I'm gonna just watch the Charlotte Tilbury again. I'm gonna swatch it like kind of going long ways. Yeah. It might be actually a dupe for 90s pink from Charlotte Tilbury. The rum raisin, surprisingly. Wow, that, yeah, that is pretty similar. Again, it, this one has just a little bit more brown in it, a li little bit, and a little bit more depth. But I think on the lips, it would look virtually the same. Let me try that on. I just wanna see what it looks like. Girl, I love finding dupes. That's one of the most exciting things to me, is finding a dupe. Yeah, I think rum raisin is gonna be just a little more muted. The 90s pink. 90s pink has a bit more vibrancy to it. But pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a very nice color. Very wearable color. And the third shade I got is 777 Vampire Love. You know I bought it just for the name, right? I totally did because, I mean, it looks like a purple lipstick almost but no no don't let that don't let that trick you this isn't just your old bright fuchsia berry deep vampy lip no she's way prettier than that this is gorgeous gorgeous color look at that so pretty and it matches my nail polish it's a lot it's a little lighter than what you would think it would be a little more muted in the best way let me give you a little swatchy swatch here. Ugh, that's such a pretty color. It's like the perfect berry, perfect berry. And this, I do believe, is quite a close dupe to this one from Jane Iredell in the shade Joanna. Joanna! Get, I always gotta do it. Like, I think they're pretty similar. Mm -hmm. More that wearable berry. Kind of color, or did it remind me of a Laura Mercier lipstick, perhaps? He was a dupe of this from Laura Mercier. Let me see, let me see. Okay. This is called An Affair from Laura Mercier. This one, her Velour Lovers, Velour Lovers Lip Color. I don't know if these are still a thing, but let me see here. Mm, that's still a little more purple, but I really like this color. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. It reminds me of those berry tones. I think on the lip they'll look pretty similar. So yeah, this I have plans for a look. I'm gonna pair that up with Mac Chestnut for a real girl. It's gonna look so nice. It's gonna look so pretty. And you know what else struck me as a dupe? The Milani Cheek Kiss Bronzers is a very good dupe for a short Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. Texture's pretty similar. Color looks fairly similar to me. Might be a dupe. I gotta test that theory further, but I'm thinking it might be. Anyway, I do think that shade would be pretty with this look though that uh vampire love but you know a lipstick named vampire love i gotta i gotta get it but it's not as vampy i think as it you would think it's actually very wearable kind of a a, a berry that's easy to pull off you not year round if you're me and you'll like a vampy lip should i just try it on just to see how it looks with this pinkier look we got going on i i'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it. Just so you can see how pretty it is actually on the lips. I mean, that's a pretty color. That's a good berry lip. This with a bit of Mac Chestnut on the edges. Really vamp it up. That's a good lip color. Good lip color. 
yeah, I'm, I'm definitely doing a look around this tomorrow. Pretty, because it, again, it has that kind of mutedness to it. It's not overwhelming of a color. There's something about these, these super lustrous shades. There's a muted undertone to them. They're not super duper vibrant in the best way, except for like the ones that are vibrant, like Wild Saffron. That one is so in your face vibrant. But I'm definitely gonna be doing a new, an updated swatch video with the new ones that I've acquired since my last video. I think I swatched a lot of the brownie ones that I'd had, but I've bought more since. So we've got these three that I'm gonna do be doing in a swatch video and Wild Saffron as well as Rumberry. So yeah, another five to swatch. So I'm now up to 10 of these and you bet your bottoms I'm gonna go buy some more next time I go to Walmart. And I got all these in Neighborhood Market except for like two. Um, wait, yeah, two of them I got on clearance at Walgreens for like 80 something cents, was it? Like crazy cheap. And the rest of these I've gotten for like around five bucks at Walmart. Except for Whiskey Business, I did pay stupid amount for it at Walgreens, as in like $12. But anyway, that's that's on the agenda for tomorrow. Swatch video with those, a look around this lip color, and a reel. Alright, so I think that was everything I wanted to show you else that I got. But yeah, the nail color I got though, it's the same packaging as this. It's just in the other room, and I'm lazy. Same packaging as this tube just in this deep vampy shade. I like the packaging too. I like when the cap matches, but this color just looks so pretty. It caught my eye. I wish there was more, I keep getting this all over my teeth. I wish there was more shades in this range at my neighborhood market at least. I might investigate Dollar Tree or somewhere else that sells LA colors for some more shades because I'm a fan of that formula. The black one, the red, this deep shade it did take three coats to get this looking opaque but it was so easy to like layer up it dried and didn't get didn't get weird or anything like that it these polishes layer so well so you can kind of get that volume to the nail i like that where it looks kind of like i got fake nails on like i got acrylics but i don't and it just keeps me from breaking my nails so it's it's multi-purpose that's what's up. Tomorrow is arm, upper body. I said arm day. It's upper body day. It's going to be back, chest, and shoulders, and triceps, and biceps. All the, I, I do all the upper body in one go. And then hopefully, hopefully, by next leg, leg day, my, my butt has recovered. My literal butt has recovered. My butt cheeks. Because, girl, girl. Like, I mean, my quads are sore. My hamstrings are sore. My... Inner thigh is sore, but my butt, I've never felt it be so sore. I'm sticking to that trick. I'm sticking to it. And the hamstrings are still getting worked. It's just not over emphasis on the hamstrings. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I just want to show you the rest of the stuff I got. I'm going to go do some computer work and just see just how long I can stay awake apparently is the game. So I can get back to a normal day schedule. If I don't stop goofing the schedule up, I swear, I drive myself crazy with this. Don't worry. And why do I stress over it? I don't know. I don't have to. I don't have to stress about this. But I do. I can literally work at any time that I want to. I just don't like it. I like being up during the day. I like getting up at like 4 a.m. It just makes me feel good. It's good for my brain. All right, I'll see you later.